Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. Two things I absolutely love are Brussels sprouts and buffalo sauce, and I'm showing you them combined with the new Blackstone creamy buffalo sear and serve sauce on these perfect bite size Brussels sprouts made on the Blackstone E series. You could do this in your Blackstone air fryer or right on your Blackstone griddle surface. Either way you make them, you're gonna wanna follow this recipe because these things fly out of the bowl when you put these out as a side dish or appetizer. It's perfect, I'm gonna show you how. Before we jump into it, don't forget to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel. And while you're at it, be sure to go to the Blackstone Teespring store and grab yourself some Blackstone gear so you can sport off your favorite show, like Family Style, or one of the boys, and wear it when you're cooking outside. Now, let's get to these Betty's Buffalo Brussels Sprout Bites. Now most restaurants around where I live serve roasted Brussels sprouts as an appetizer and I can't get enough of them. I love making them at home right in the Blackstone air fryer or right on top of the griddle surface or like today on top of the E-Series. They come out perfect every time no matter which one you're using. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start off with my Brussels sprouts trimming just the ends off and then we're gonna slice them in half. You could slice these in two thirds if they're a little bit on the larger side. Once we have all of our Brussels sprouts sliced up, I like to throw these into a storage bag. And I have my favorite extra light tasting olive oil. We're gonna drizzle some of that olive oil just a little bit, enough to coat each Brussels sprout nice and thinly. We'll season them up with some coarse salt, black pepper, give our storage bag a tie, and shake these up to coat evenly, getting each Brussels sprout a little seasoned and well oiled. Now these could be done the day before. You can leave them in your fridge to hang out. This way you have even quicker of an appetizer to go to if you have friends or family over. When you're ready to cook, we're gonna turn on our E-Series to 400 degrees. Now, once our E-Series is preheated to 400, we're gonna drop down these Brussels sprouts and let them begin to cook. The one thing I love about the E-Series is that I can close this lid and walk away and it is so forgiving to anything you're cooking. We'll come back every two to three minutes and give these a toss. I want to let the top side, the side that we slice these Brussels sprouts on, to really char up nice and dark. I love the contrast in color. I love how bright the opposite side stays nice and green and soft. And the side we slice with all those ribbons of Brussels sprouts gets nice and toasty and charred. I love the flavor of it. Once I can get a knife or a toothpick through these, they're nice and tender. It takes about eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna grab our new Blackstone Creamy Buffalo Sear and Serve Sauce and give that a nice drizzle all over these Brussels sprouts. We'll give them a quick toss and they are ready to pull off and plate up. It is just that easy. We'll serve these alongside some extra creamy buffalo sauce for dipping. Zhuzh them up with a little extra coarse sea salt for that little crunch on the outside and then dive right in. I love these so, so much. I can't even tell you how much I love Brussels sprouts. I really feel like if you don't like Brussels sprouts or you think you don't, try them with buffalo sauce. You will be thanking me later. If you guys try these buffalo Brussels sprout bites, I hope you take a picture and post some and tag Blackstone products and tag Blackstone Betty. I cannot wait to see. This is such a fun, easy, simple appetizer that is so quick to make and perfect to serve up to your family and friends. I hope you guys give them a try. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. Don't forget to shop that Teespring store and subscribe to the Blackstone YouTube channel. Be sure to leave us some comments down below, share the video, and go make some Buffalo Brussel Bites, Betty's Buffalo Brussel Bites. That is so hard to say. I will see you guys in the next video. Especially those of you, Jess out there, or anyone else who doesn't eat meat, this is the perfect switch up to Buffalo Bites. Vegetarian buffalo, buffalo Bites. I can't say that. Your friends and family can try the Buffalo Bites.